Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another Thought from the Bible. Uh, today may be a slightly different video as I just sort of reflect a little bit on events that have happened through the last week, but I hope that this will encourage you anyway. So when we first joined Mission Aviation Fellowship, myself and my husband Dave, all those years ago now, we had to choose one of our favourite Bible verses to put on our page on the MAF website where people could go and support us and find out more about us and when we when we moved recently from Uganda to Liberia we decided to change that verse to put something new for this new season of life that we were entering and so we wrote down Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 12 which says the Lord will go before you the God of Israel will be your rear guard. The Lord will go before you. And there are so many verses that talk about God going before us. Before the Israelites crossed the River Jordan into the Promised Land, Moses told them, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. The Lord himself goes before you. Now I have really felt the truth of those verses in this last week because on, on Thursday I bundled Dave into our car and drove him to the mission hospital that's on the compound that we live on because he had acute appendicitis and needed emergency surgery here in Liberia. Not the best situation, it wasn't great at all, it was a very stressful time and yet it has been absolutely amazing looking back on it now to see how God provided in just so, so, so many ways. The fact that we live on a compound where there is a hospital right there for one, but another that we have a, a friend who is a nurse who works there, who was not yet at work on the morning when it happened and who was able to advise us as to what to do and who walked around with me for every step of the admission process. The immediate entry to hospital at just the right time. Dave was the first in the queue for surgery that morning. Surgery that began by 9 a.m. when normally the theatre doesn't get going until 10 because the surgeons were able to get there early that day. A, a Swiss doctor who was only in country for a few more days who just happened to be there at the right time who was able to to be inside the theatre for the entire surgery making sure everything was going okay the Dave's appendix hadn't ruptured if if this had happened later in the day with the the traffic in Monrovia who knows what would have happened he would have gone to work it would have been it could have been so much worse surgeons could already have been in theatre by the time that we arrived even down to the tiny little details running out of the door that morning I thought I should probably grab some money but who knows how much we've never needed treatment in in hospital in Liberia before we didn't know how much it would cost so I just made a grab for a, a few notes out of out of our safe and lo and behold the amount that I grabbed was to the dollar the amount that we needed for admission so that the surgery could start even to the fact that the power on this compound has had some some real issues in the last six months and yet last month a new generator arrived which meant there was reliable power for the entire procedure and for the entire of Dave's recovery time in a private room that happened to be available with air conditioning to make it much more comfortable in this humidity and heat down to the fact that another engineer who works in this program had just returned from Uganda where he'd been visiting his family like two days before this happened. 
this list goes on and on and on. Those are just a few examples of how everything has lined up and fallen into place. And it's so easy to dismiss things like this as coincidence, right? But at some point, we've got to recognize that that is not what it is. It is God going before us. It is God going ahead of us, making the, the rough places smooth. There is no detail in your life, no detail in our lives that is too small for the notice of Almighty God. Sometimes in this life, it feels a bit like we're stepping into the unknown. The road ahead seems unclear and uncertain and the ground a bit unsteady. But even in those situations, even when we don't really understand why we're walking on this road that we're walking on, even in those times, God has gone ahead of us. And you could ask, well, well, couldn't God just have stopped Dave from getting appendicitis? Wouldn't that have been easier than having to like, line up all these details? Well, yeah, of, co of course he could. Of course he could have done that. But maybe that's not what we needed right now in this season of our lives. Maybe what we needed was to see God's faithfulness through a time of trial in those little details. And you know what, it was a really hard few days being in the hospital and running back and forward, sorting out food and, and everything that Dave needed to be comfortable and, and all the logistics of what it means to be in hospital in this place. It was, it was a really hard time sitting there in the hospital grounds for an hour while the surgery was going on, wondering what was happening. But you know what? The next time anything comes up, the next time there's any hard situation, no matter how big or how small that situation may be, I will be able to look back on this time and remember how carefully God orchestrated every tiny little detail to smooth out a bad situation. Yes, there is still pain. Yes, there's still weeks of recovery ahead. Yes, we have to navigate going back to the hospital to have stitches removed and all of those fun things. Sometimes the road that we're walking on is not easy. Sometimes it's really, really difficult. But God never once guaranteed us an easy ride. But he did guarantee us that he would go before us, that he would go ahead of us. He did guarantee that he would never leave us or forsake us. We don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be discouraged when situations are hard and painful because God is in those times. God has gone ahead of us in those times just as much as he has in the easy, good, happy times. Now, when I think of God going ahead of us, I think of the Israelites walking through the wilderness, led by this pillar of cloud in the day and this pillar of fire at night. And every time they had to move, that pillar would move. It would go before them. They would follow after God. And yes, that pillar of fire, it was leading them ultimately to a place of promise, to a place of, of good things. But it wasn't always easy. In fact, sometimes that pillar led the Israelites into battle. Sometimes that pillar led the Israelites into a desert place, into a wilderness place where there was no water, where there was frustration, where there was hardship and lack. Sometimes the places where we need to go are, are not easy. Sometimes they're hard. Sometimes it feels like a battle or a wilderness. And yet in every single moment, God has gone ahead of us. Sometimes it's through hardship. 
that we really start to recognise that truth, that we really recognise the truth of those verses I read out right at the start of this video. Because in every situation, in everything you do, in every single step you take, He has gone ahead of you. He is preparing the way. He is working in the tiny, minuscule little details of your life. The things that you may not even notice. He is going before you. He is going ahead of you. You don't have to do it all alone because he is with you. And that is an encouraging thought today, no matter what kind of a situation you may be facing. What a week. <laughs> well, I hope that that was, was encouraging for you today. Thank you so much for joining me for that thought from the Bible. I'll be back on Wednesday next week in a hopefully slightly more normal week with another thought from the Bible. So I will see you then.